Hello and welcome to A Spirited Debate. I'm Lauren Green. Comedian John Oliver mocks the prosperity gospel by creating his own church. On Sunday's episode of Last Week Tonight on HBO, the comedian announced that he is now the pastor and CEO of Our Lady of Perpetual Exemption, which he describes as a tax-exempt organization that you certainly can't say is not a church. Did he go too far? Here to weigh in is Dr. Robert Jeffress, senior pastor of First Baptist Dallas and a Fox News contributor. Welcome, doctor. Thank you, Lauren. So are you offended by this kind of satire? <laughs> no, I'm not offended at all. Look, I think John Oliver is uh, right in ridiculing proponents of the prosperity gospel. I think any minister who guarantees people a financial wealth or physical health for sending in their donation, that minister is guilty of spiritual malpractice and ought to be ridiculed. But I think the problem that Oliver is uh, exposing here is a more serious one, and it's the great latitude in the IRS 501c3 regulation that allows not only churches, but hospitals and charities and educational organizations to be exempt. There's great latitude in those regulations. And the real question is, do we want more government regulation, not just for churches, right. but for all charitable organizations? But, you know, there are a lot of folks out there who share his frustrations with preachers. You know, they have private planes, you know, Creffle Dollar um, asked for $65 million for a, a <laughs> private plane. Doesn't that seem wrong to you? I mean, shouldn't there be a law against that? Well, it does seem wrong, but look, these fraudulent organizations and fraudulent preachers wouldn't exist were it not for the ignorance and stupidity of the American people. If people would simply read their Bibles before they send in a dollar to any charity, any religious organization, they would know that this is not what the gospel of Jesus Christ is about, and these organizations would dry up overnight. And Lauren, I'm just not sure there are enough government regulations possible to protect people against their own stupidity. Let me, let me read you a quote from John Oliver because this is some of the things that he was uh, talking about um, in his, uh, in his uh, bit on you know, the mocking these churches. It says, wealth is a sign of God's favor and donations will result in wealth coming back to you. Um, this is what the prosperity gospel preaches. And there's another um, uh, quote he said, I, I don't have it right down here, but uh, let me see, we've got it up on the screen there. Uh, just a second. Yes, Robert Tilton, Kenneth Copeland, and other pastors at their ilk, of their ilk have been taking advantage of the open-ended IRS definition of the word church and procuring a litany of tax breaks. You know, one of the problems with these kinds of preachers is that for a lot of people, this is the only exposure to faith or religion that they have. And so, of course, it sours them on all religion. Well, that's exactly right. And look, if God's will for every person is to be healthy and wealthy, well, Jesus certainly missed out on that promise. The Apostle Paul missed out on it. He was beheaded, and so did the first century church, and millions of Christians around the world today are missing out on that so-called promise. It's a fraudulent teaching, but I'm not sure, Lauren, that the government can be the one in Washington to decide what is correct theology and what is not correct theology. I encourage people to read the Bible and find out for themselves what is the truth. And again, these organizations are going to dry up if people ever wake up and start to know the truth of God's Word. All right, I want to thank you so much, Dr. Robert Jeffress. Always wonderful to talk to you. Thank you, Lauren. Let's check out foxnews.com for more on this developing story. I'm Lauren Green, and thanks for watching.